Welcome to Caseware Quick Fits. In this video, you'll learn how to use the user profile in Caseware Time as a valuable shortcut to configuring the settings of documents as you create them. The automatic reports in Caseware Time are generated based on your firm's data, but you can also narrow down which data you want used in a given report. For example, instead of a list of all staff members and their statistics, you may want this information for just one, or maybe a small group of staff members. This is called filtering the data, and there are two ways to do this. In the top right-hand corner of your screen are five fields collectively called the user profile. This allows you to create a default filter for a certain type of report, so that you don't have to filter every report one by one. Before you create the default filter, you need to select which reports you want it to apply to. Four of the five fields, Document, Client, Staff, and Project, have their own color. This color corresponds to the type of report they're used to filter. For example, the Document filter applies to all document reports, which use a blue icon. The Client filter applies to all client reports, which use a red icon and so on. The date filter can be used to filter any type of report, so it has no color. You have the option to select whether or not a report is affected by its filter by right-clicking on it in the Document Manager, selecting Properties, and then checking or unchecking the User Profile checkbox. Let's say you want all of your client reports, those identified by a red icon, to be generated from the same data. In each of these reports, open the Properties dialog and check the User Profile checkbox. The default filter will only be applied to reports that have this checkbox checked. Now you can set up the default filter. Click on the ellipsis button of a filter in the User Profile to open it. With the Client filter, you can specify the category by which to filter the report. First, select which type of client you're filtering from the drop-down menu at the top of the dialog. You have two ways of configuring this filter, depending on your needs. If you want to limit the filter to a single client or group of clients that appear consecutively in your client list, select the Single or Range Selection option and then select the individual or range of clients from the menus. If you want to select multiple clients that don't appear consecutively in the list, select the Multiple Selection option and check off the clients you want from the list. With the Staff filter, you're doing the same thing as with the Client filter, but this time you're choosing which staff member's data you want to base the staff reports on. As with the Client filter, you have the option to select the applicable staff by range or one by one from a list. With the Projects filter, you can specify which projects data you want the project reports to be based on. You have the same two configuration options for the Projects filter that you have for the Client and Staff filters. With the Date filter, you can choose which date or range of dates you want the data in all of your reports to come from. This can be very useful when you want to omit older data, or when you want to prepare a report on data from a certain time period in the past. Unlike the other filters, the date filter applies to all reports, rather than a particular type of report. To use this filter, first decide whether you want to configure the filter to the current period, or to one of your choosing. If you choose the second of these options, select the date or range of dates, from the other two menus. With the Document filter, you can specify which documents to display. If you select Assigned to Staff Logged In, the reports will only be based on data from documents that are assigned to you, the user who is currently logged into time. If you select Assigned to Staff Logged In and Unassigned, the reports will be based on data from all reports regardless of whether they're assigned to you. Once you've configured this filter the way you want, click OK. 
If you just want to filter a single report instead of all reports of a particular type, you can do so in the Properties settings of the report. Open the report you want to filter and right-click, then select Properties. This brings up the Properties dialog, where you can manually specify which data you want to see in the report, filtering out the data you don't want. For example, if I wanted to make it so that this staff summary report is only based off of staff working under a particular partner, I can select the partner from this menu. I can also narrow down the number of staff members the report is based on by selecting a range of staff members from the list. If you select more than one filter, they are applied together. So in this case, I'll be basing the report on every staff member in this range on the list who worked under this partner. Each time you select or change a filter in the Properties dialog, you need to confirm your decision by clicking Apply. In the background, your report will refresh based on the filters you selected. Once you've finished selecting the filters you want to use, click OK to exit the dialog. If you wanted to view the revenue generated by each client partner to GL Accounts, create an invoice journal document with the necessary filter. Right-click on the Caseware Time folder in the Document Manager and select New Automatic Document. In the New Automatic Document dialog, select Invoice Journal as the document type, Summary as the format, and Account Number for the first sort order. Then select the range of account numbers. Next, Set up the filter so that the report will only show the data from the specified partner. Click on the calculator icon in the Filter field to open the Filter dialog. From Table, select Client Partner. From Field, select Number. From Comparison, select Is Equal To. And finally, from the Value field, select the partner whose data you want to display. After setting up the filter, click OK. This report now shows you what the specified partner contributed to the revenue GL accounts that you specified in the filter. This concludes our quick vid on filtering reports in Caseware Time. Thank you for watching Caseware Quick Vids.